musical theater is my absolute passion. It was actually the reason I decided to leave Strictly after winning with Aruduba. It's been a love of mine since I was a child and so it comes as no surprise that Musicals Week on Strictly is the one I look forward to the most. My two biggest passions coming together, Fox trotting off. As for my own experience of it, as much as I loved it, we danced a foxtrot to pure imagination and, unfortunately, ended up in the dance-off. For this reason, before seeing the show at the weekend, I would have said that Will and Nancy could have been in trouble this week. In a week with big, show-stopping, musical numbers with extra dancers thrown in, it is always quite nerve-wracking to then have a slow dance. It really was all that jazz. From the opening group dance, to Molly's Charleston, to the very last beat of Fleur's quick step, we were taken to Broadway and back, and I loved every second. The competition is so tough now. The remaining celebs are all of a similar level, all with strengths in different areas. In the semi-final I think a lot of it could come down to the dance styles the couples are given, as to who will make the final. The show's topper and leading lady an absolute moment, which will go down as one of the most memorable Strictly dances, was Helen's routine with her dance partner Gorka. The style, confidence, technique, synchronicity. It was a 40. I'm not sure how Craig gave it a 9. She has grown into this confident, strong performer and I'm absolutely here for it. The 11 o'clock number and leading man as I mentioned above, it's always difficult to put a slow dance against four big and fun numbers, especially at this stage of the competition. The Foxtrot was the only one. However, Will smashed it out of the park. It was beautiful, simple, meaningful and real, not to mention the technique. Perfect footwork and a high-level understanding of sway. I cried. Maybe it was the music. Maybe it was the story. To be honest, I think it was more the technique of a beautiful foxtrot. The showdown difficult. Kim's dance showed great technique. Molly's showed speed and fun. Two top girls. It was so close. I'm really not sure who should have gone, but one thing's for sure, both girls should be so proud of themselves, and I hope Kim is celebrating how fantastic she was. 2014 Strictly Come Dancing winner Joanne Clifton has teamed up with the UK's leading online bingo site Which Bingo to deliver an honest, weekly summary of the ups and downs of each episode of this year's Strictly Come Dancing series.